This video will cover difficult part 1 questions regarding the limit of trigonometry function. This is the first question. Let substitution t be 1 over x. Then reciprocal each side. We have a 1 over t equals x. We need these two. When x approaches 0, it is the same as t approaches infinity because 1 over infinity equals 0 and 1 over 0 equals infinity. So it becomes limit as t approaches infinity, x means 1 over t, cosine 1 over x means t. So it becomes as t approaches infinity cosine t over t. You can use the squeeze theorem. So cosine t, the range is minus 1 to 1, and then divide by t on each side. So cosine t, I mean t, over t, and 1 over t. Then, as t approaches infinity, minus 1 over t is less than or equal to limit as t approaches infinity, cosine t over t, then less than or equal to another limit as t approaches infinity, 1 over t. And this one is 0. And that one is also 0. So this limit as t approaches infinity cosine t over t is between 1 and 1. Therefore, the limit as t approaches infinity cosine t over t equals 0. Please remember this one by squeeze theorem, so that one answer equals zero. This is the next question. As you know, the limit as x approaches zero, sine ax over ax equals one. So these two numbers must be the same. So we need sine x in the denominator, so times sine x over sine x. And we can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0, sine bracket sine x over change the side, so sine x first times keep the second numerator over 3x like that. And then use substitution, let sine x be t. When x approaches 0, it is the same as t approaches 0 because sine 0 equals 0. Then go back to original. The limit t approaches 0, this is a sine t over t. And the second one is limit x approaches 0, sine x over 3x. So keep the original form. And then the first limit is 1 times the second limit is 1 over 3. The answer is 1 over 3. This is the next question. We can use the same technique as question 2. We need a tangent x in the denominator. So times tangent x over tangent x. Then we can rewrite as limit as x approaches 0 sine tangent x over change the side tangent x times 
keep the first numerator tangent x over sine 3x. Now, can you guess the answer? Think about this. The first limit, these two values are the same. So, shortcut. The first one is 1. And then second limit is tangent is the same as sine. So, it's 1 over 3. So, the answer is 1 over 3. And shall we solve the problem and see if the answer is really correct? Use the limit law. We can rewrite as as x approaches 0 and sine tangent x over tangent x times limit as x approaches 0 tangent x over sine 3x then we can use substitution let tangent x be a so when x approaches 0 is the same as a approaches 0 because tangent 0 means 0 so this one is limit a approaches 0 then sine a over a times this one limit as x approaches 0 tangent x is the same as sine x over cosine x times 1 over sine 3x equals the first limit is 1 times and second limit as x approaches 0 then sine x over change the side so sine 3x times 1 over cosine x this one equals limit as x approaches 0 sine ax over sine bx equals a over b we use this one so that one is 1 over 3 times the limit this one so 1 over cosine 0 means 1 so answer is 1 over 3 so we have the same answer with shortcut this is the next question limit as x approaches 0 tangent x is the same as sine x over cosine x so tangent sine 2x means sine bracket sine 2x over cosine bracket sine 2x this is the numerator times 1 over pi x which is denominator we need sine 2x in the denominator part so make times sine 2x over sine 2x and then i want to use limit as x approaches 0 sine ax over ax equals 1 so this is ax part then one two limit as x approaches zero this whole thing sine sine two x over that one sine two x keep this one then times this one which is just denominator so one over cosine sine two x and the last part is sine 2x over pi x sine 2x over pi x use the limit law so limit as x approaches 0 
sine sine two x over sine two x times limit as x approaches zero one over cosine sine two x times limit as x approaches zero sine two x over pi x equals this one use this one so limit as x approaches zero sine ax over ax makes one so this is ax part this is ax part so the first limit makes one times the second one is one over cosine when you put zero into x so sine zero means zero times this one use limit as x approaches zero sine ax over bx equals a over b so this is just two over pi so one times one over cosine zero means one times two over pi so the final answer is 2 over pi. This is the last question. This problem looks much more complicated than the previous one, but the solution follows the same technique. So we need times the same number is 1 minus cosine x over 1 minus cosine x because sine ax need another ax and then limit as x approaches 0 sine 1 minus cosine x over change the side 1 minus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x over x squared we already know sine followed by these two numbers, these values are the same, then this limit value is 1. But let's check together. Use substitution. Let 1 minus cosine x be a. Then when x approaches 0, it is the same as a approaches zero because when x equals zero cosine zero means one one minus one equals zero so it can be rewritten as limit as a approaches zero sine a over a times the second one is go back to original limit x approaches zero the one minus cosine x over x squared then now times conjugate each side 1 plus cosine x over 1 plus cosine x and then the first one as you know is 1 times limit as x approaches 0 is 1 minus a 1 plus a form is 1 minus a squared so 1 minus cosine squared x over keep the denominator x squared 1 plus cosine x and then use trig identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 so sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine squared x so here, the limit as x approaches 0, 1 minus cosine squared x means sine squared x. Sine squared x over x squared times 1 plus cosine x. It becomes sine squared x over x squared times 1 over 1 plus cosine x. So 
So it becomes limit as x approaches 0, sin x over x squared times limit as x approaches 0, 1 over 1 plus cosine x. Then this one is 1, so 1 squared times 1 over 1 plus, when you put 0 into x, so cosine 0 means 1, so it's 1 over 2. That is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. This is the last of three videos covering the limit of trigonometry function, part 1. Previous lessons are linked in the description bar below. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.